Another disaster save. And I don't actually know if I can save this one. I've taken a look at it, but I figured I'm gonna make the video anyway. I'm gonna make this a teaching experience. Let's get into it. Buddha, Zeus, God, one of you guys do something. So you can probably tell this is not optimal. Small story time first. What happened is he made his German empire, then tried to naval invade France, and those troops got encircled and destroyed because France joined the common turn. That drew in the Soviets, which isn't a huge deal, but of course it means he had to devote troops there. Then he forgot to use his rather large navy to actually defend his coastline, so he didn't put it on strike force. He's burning all of his fuel, doing the most useless thing imaginable convoy escort. So <laughs> there goes his fuel. As a result, he got naval invaded, I think around uh, Wilhelmshaven. You can tell how that has um, not gone necessarily according to plan. So this is this is lost. There's, there's nothing I can do about this now. All he had in reserve were these six trucks who are not a terrible template, but definitely not a great template either. They're trucks, so they're useless without fuel. Now you might also be wondering, but why is Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia and Romania in the war? Well, Japan. Japan. He says that for some strange reason, Japan declared war on Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia still had the guarantees of the French and the Romanians and the Czechs, so that little entente guarantee circle going on. As a result, all of those countries joined the common turn when that war kicked off. Not great. So that was probably the final blow that turned his house of cards into rubble because the border with Czechoslovakia is massive for Germany and <laughs> you need some troops to man it. You can tell it has not been managed and very well. All those things are bad, but could have been prevented. And here's where the teaching comes in. One, if you want to invade France as Germany, go through the low countries. You already have the British on your side. They're not going to pick up any guarantees of consequence. Just go through there. You don't have to use naval invasions that way. It's easier. It's quicker. Just do it that way. Two, use your Navy. Don't use convoy escort. It is worthless for these massive fleets. Use strike force. What strike force does is it projects your full naval supremacy without consuming any fuel. It's cheap and it's easy. Just do that with your massive navy to deny the enemy naval supremacy. It works for the Soviets because their Baltic fleet is not that big. Poland. You could have just kept Poland out of the war, but I think they're not a puppet and you decided to call in all your friends. So if you're going to war with somebody you can take on your own, don't pull in your puppets. Don't pull in your allies. Just take them one on one and forget about your allies. They, they're usually just dead weight anyway. But of course, you got to garrison your coast, at least have a division on every port tile if you're at risk of getting naval invaded. That's the big things. Then there's a lot of smaller things. One, it is 1941. Where are your civs? I realize that a lot of your country is occupied, but where the hell are your civs? What have you been building? You would think he's been building mills, but he only has 63 mills. Again, I know a lot of your country is occupied, but you should have way, way, way more than this. So you have definitely been slacking, my friend. Build more stuff. Another point. You are using licenses. Pointless. Armored cars? Useless. Armored trains? Research these yourself. Get rid of it. Toad anti-tank in single player? Worthless. That is three civilian factories you're wasting, so bye-bye. Don't need that garbage. You have an air force and it's, it's not doing well. First of all, don't overstack your airports. It makes the airplanes useless. But fortunately for you, and I'm gonna disband them, they were already useless. It's 1941. You're building BF 109s with light machine guns and engine twos. You should have 1940s fighters, improved small fighters with engine threes, with cannon two, well, with at least heavy machine guns and cannons. You want to get the survivability studies because the design you have is worthless. It can do nothing. As for your cast, I don't know what you got for cast. Probably the basic cast. Yeah. I think. Again, better airframe, better engine, stack this thing with armor plates and bombs. It's too late now. We're, we're not going to come back from this. Basic medium airframes. Just get rid of them. You have 20 factories on trucks. Now you did say that you lost two full armies of trucks. That sucks, but you don't need that many factories on trucks. Three will do for now. I'll, I'll convert those trucks later anyway. Improved light tanks. You're building a lot of light tanks because you told me you're using space marines. I'm going to go out and say this and I don't mean to be rude. I want this to be a teaching experience. This is not a space marine division. What makes space marine divisions 
Space Marines is the heavy armor. A light tank, especially this late into the game, contributes virtually nothing as far as armor goes. They have 7.8 armor. That makes it no tougher than an ordinary infantry division, but exceptionally more expensive. So we are removing this. If you insist on using Space Marines, pick one of these infantry, add a heavy tank, and then start adding artillery up to the combat with you desire. But don't just use light tanks, okay? No light tanks. Light tanks are good up until like late 38, 39. You should be building mediums really as Germany. So we're getting rid of the improved light tank chassis. Bye-bye. This basic infantry will do. It holds the border. It will hold the front line, but nothing else. These are your shock troops. Not terrible. I would add more artillery to give them a bit more of a bite. Something like this and then add stuff like support artillery and support anti-air. But a little late now. These guys don't have any fuel, so they are literally pointless. I will be better off switching these into an infantry version. Our research. Why are we researching advanced equipment conversion? That's useless. I like that you're doing your industry techs. That's good. I hate that you completely neglected air or almost completely neglected air. There's so much important stuff here. You have also completely neglected the most powerful unit in Hearts of Iron, the artillery. So you want to keep this up to date. It does so much for you. So keep this up to date for God's sake. A little late now, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. And then even your basic infantry equipment is out of date. What have you been researching? I don't know. I legitimately don't know what you've been researching, but it hasn't been correct. I can tell you that much. So if you want to play a Germany game and you're not focused on purely the naval game, you want your land warfare, get your infantry equipment up to date, get your artillery up to date, get your air up to date. You have the research slots. Of course, keep the industry up to date as well. As for engineering, just get mechanical computing and stop there. Uh, the rest of the stuff is a bit of a trap. By the time you've researched them, you're better off doing other things. But if you have the slots for it, why not? Radar, again, not terrible, not great. It's okay, but you have other priorities, all right? It's a little late now, so we're not doing air. I'm gonna keep doing all these other things because I'm might as well. Excavation, research, yeah. We're gonna give up Stuttgart, Munich. We're gonna give up all of this. We cannot hold it. If I had the troops to hold this, I would contain the naval invasion, crush that, move on. But we can't. You only have six trucks. They don't have fuel. And that's it. There's nothing these guys can do. At best, I can keep the northern section here around keel contain and counterattack. But that's the best I can do. This is too broad. They're about to break through towards the French border. These guys no longer have supply because all the railway links have been cut. I don't have civilian factories to build an, a quick railway link, so it's done. We have lost most of Germany and it will be a very long time before we get any of it back. So von Kuchler, you're coming home and we're going to set up here. Hold as much of this area as possible. The south is gone. Focus on keeping the door open while Kukler's army withdraws, and that's it. Polish army. Well, congratulations. Your focus will now be to hold the river along here and try to make sure we hold on like that. I guess it's going to depend on how much we get pushed here, because I think we will get pushed. If you can just hold a couple of these tiles, it will be great, but unlikely. <laughs> OK, so what we're going to try and do is is make like a little pocket here, a little pocket of Germany that can survive. We will definitely not be strong, but we can at least try to survive. Oh, one more thing. Construction. Pointless since we're not going to be building anything. Instead, let's go and grab maintenance companies. Maybe I can steal some Soviet guns, you know? Dispersed industry, 119 days. I think I'm better off researching things that keep my army going for a little bit longer. Assembly line production. I think that's the same thing. I need to research things that will keep my army going for a little bit longer. This gives me a little more entrenchment. And I'm going to need entrenchment. I'm also going to need better guns. So let's, let's go there. Let's see if I can trick Horthy into joining. He will get crushed if I call him the war, but it, it distracts some troops for a little bit. Now production. Guns. High priority. Support equipment. We're going to need it. Toad anti-air. We're going to need it, but not that much. Artillery. We're going to need it, but we can't afford that much. And then air. I don't want your basic naval bombers. Your air is 
terrible. So I'm not even going to make any more airplanes. <laughs> like We'll make some later if we're still around, but <laughs> not now. And we're going to lose most of our factories anyway when the south goes. So we're going to lose all these factories. We're going to lose all of this. We're going to lose everything. There's no way I can hold on to it. So we're going to lose so much of our industrial capacity. The strikes, you haven't handled the strikes. You've just decided to ignore it. Uh, we're going to make the best choice possible. I just hope it actually fixes the strikes and we have a little bit of an economy again. I want to hit desperate defense, but do I need it now? It is 45 days, so it might, might be worth it. Or instead, I could hit some more propaganda or something. No, let's just hit desperate defense to buy me the time I need. I'm going to go and edit this template, create a duplicate, it, and these will be my my foot shock troops. I'll rename these to channel members. Maybe the channel members can turn this around. It's why I keep you boys around. Thank you for your generous contributions. So we have our shock troops now and we'll revert back to motorized whenever we can afford to. And what we're going to do here is push towards Kiel. We're starting to piece things together. You've gone mobile warfare as Germany, which makes sense. Mobile infantry. I prefer Blitzkrieg, but seeing as you did not go with tanks, Lord knows why. I can see why mobile infantry. So the bonuses aren't bad. Like more organization, yes. Even more organization, but this is more for your infant, for your motorized. Eh. And this is, yeah, okay. So I, okay, these are, this is okay. This is decent. However, you've gone flexible organization. Not bad, but just get maneuver warfare. It does the same thing, but better. Maneuver warfare. There we go. Extra speed. Great. Same thing. But this also gives you 5% coordination, which means your units, when multiple units are in combat, are more likely to shoot the same thing, doing more damage, killing it quicker. Just get this one. Just get that one. Quick improvisation. Not terrible, but I'm going to go over to Professional Officer Corps to get myself more daily command power, cheaper land doctrines, and more army experience. So Professional Officer Corps it is. If you're trying to build your tank units, though, motorized Motorization drive is a no-brainer. It's so much cheaper to get this. Just, just get motorization drive if you're still building your templates. And bold attack. Yeah, that's good. I might be tempted to take political loyalty now just to get stability up a little bit. It's definitely not the greatest, but Germany has a lot of generals, so it doesn't really ruin anything. And I can always switch back to bold attack later. But right now, we need to survive before we can start thriving. All right, so stability is a little better. That's the basics. Then we'll, we'll work through the rest of the tree later. Air doctrine. Again, battlefield support is good for Germany, but it's point pointless for us now. Our air force is literally gone. You've done most of these and the ones that you haven't done, you can't do. Okay. I would pick up army innovations and the air stuff to just build out our army and our, and our air force at a later date. The political side, you've gone with the expatriate to communists. That's why the French are communist and you had to do that to get Victoria. Okay. I can, I can respect that, but it is the weaker of these two points. So if you're not specifically trying to get Queen Victoria or Kaiserin Victoria, just get focused on the true enemy. But okay, this is this is fine. The rest of these focuses don't really do much. This gives guarantees and helps the Baltics join your faction. But even if they were to join our faction, that's pointless. Same for the Finns. Pointless. Eh, nice distraction, but ultimately pointless. There's really nothing here for us immediately. I think I just want to cancel the focus and just eat the political power. I want more political power so I can make some changes here. So these guys are not going to make it. The enemy will walk into that tile way before they can because they are <laughs> slow as hell. I'm just going to delete them and at least recover the manpower and equipment. The rest of these guys seem to be on track to make a quick getaway. Just keep strategically redeploying so you go as fast as possible. This is going well, at least. If I can take Kiel, that's one less thing to worry about. I, I, I have enough to worry about as it is. And of course, disengage from the Polish line relatively easily as well. Okay, so we can solidify this front. We're not in a good position, but we're not dead yet. And I can keep you on life support for a little while longer. Try to get your war support up, try to get your stability up, spend all my political power on that. Maybe get a material designer, aircraft designer. All right, all right, we, we can still we can still do this. First pocket of the campaign, we encircled the unit in Hamburg and we haven't lost anyone yet. I think there's just this one unit. That's a straggler and two units that I deleted. So overall, it's it. It's all right. It could be worse, it could be better, but it could definitely be worse. So if you have like
like a tile like this, where reinforcements can come, it's gonna take a while. Select the unit, give it another army, pick any general you like, preferably one who is not inactive, so a general who's just been switched out. Let's take list, for instance, and hit last stand. It is so much cheaper. This cost me 2.4 command power. If I were to do it for an entire army, it would cost me, well, significantly more, and I can't afford it. So it's a cheap way to buy time, and I like to buy time. Field marshals. I have put all my offensively oriented units, so my six shock troops, under Von Klug. He has offensive doctrine and good attack skills, so it is what I'll use him for. And everybody else I've put under Von Rundstedt. Von Rundstedt has defensive doctrine, giving more entrenchments, which will save our bacon. And I can also give him some more bonuses. Oh, I wanted charismatic. I misclicked, so eh, it doesn't really matter. Realistically, all we can do at this point is wait and watch the common turn burn itself out. I'm gonna queue up a couple more divisions. I don't think I'll be able to actually finish them anytime soon, but four should fill out our armies to the max. On the bright side, we have an encirclement here, so I did manage to get the Soviets pushed back out of Kiel. We once again control Schleswig-Holstein, which gives us dockyards instead of anything useful, but it is what it is. My god, world tension isn't even that high. This is very shocking. Very shocking indeed. These units are gonna be my fire brigade. I'm just gonna be constantly cycling them around to wherever I'm losing, push back, and get back. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's realistically all I can do until I have enough equipment saved up to start deploying more men. Maybe even getting a little bit of an air force. I could put my air force up here to fend off these um, annoying bombers, but again, no oil. <laughs> and the air force we do have is so bad, I might as well not put it up. I am slow. Slightly excited about our, well, I wouldn't call this a breakthrough just yet, but our gains in the south, oh, south, our gains in the west are promising, I want to say, but again, I am walking very far away from that very safe river line there, so I, <laughs> I'm not sure this is going to be worth it, but I need factories, I need something going my way here. Yeah, I'm not sure if my salient to the west is going to end up being a good thing or a bad thing, but for now, it's certainly a thing, and I am here for it. Let's dedicate the shock troops to taking Emden and Wilhelmshaven, the other divisions to the main front. We'll kill some Frenchmen. Well, good news. While my line is, I wouldn't say crumbling, but not in very good shape. The UK is trying something. They're trying a naval invasion of France. I doubt they'll do anything worthwhile, considering they're, well, they're, they're still busy everywhere. It is something, right? Thank Jesus. The strikes are gone. We have an economy. How does it look? Okay, so 10 sieves. That's something. I could probably trade for some more steel with Sweden. The Swedes like me. And a little bit of tungsten from uh, Sweden as well. Well, and I'll trade one factory for oil with the Dutch. I have a land border now. Just so I can fill up my reserves, then I can eventually transition back to truck shock troops. How is production now looking? Okay, so I can produce more stuff again. Just not very much. It's better than nothing. All right, let's, let's ramp up production now that we do have the factories for it. I need to start spewing out a whole lot of divisions. I managed to trick Horthy into joining. I uh, turned the game off, went to have dinner, came back, turned it back on, and I got that pop-up again that said you can invite someone to your faction. Clicked it again. I got Horthy. I managed to scam him into joining my faction. Now, if I call him and he dies, like, there, there is no way in hell that he will survive that dramatic event. But, oh, it's funny. It's funny. He's gonna distract some troops, though. Hopefully we can hold. Also, Japan is justifying. Japan, what are you doing? Hey, so on the bright side, it looks like the UK has actually got some troops down here. It's not gonna last. Uh, they're being mopped up as we speak, but it's a nice distraction. Buying me a little time. Time I desperately need. Oh god, I've had to yield some ground here. Couple of tiles, but... I'm a little tighter now. I think I can hold this indefinitely. I'm just going to keep spamming out units as I get more guns. Bad news. Japan declared war on the Netherlands. Well, the Dutch East Indies. I'm afraid they are going to join the Comintern, considering Japan's also at war with the Comintern or the Allies, because I think Japan is also at war with the Allies. Worst case scenario, I am just getting my shock troops over to the Dutch border in case I need to make an urgent adjustment. And I'm fucked. I am not gonna be able to win this. This is this is going to end up being impossible. And the US is in the allies, and that means the US is against us as well. <laughs> 
we're now at war with the United States of America as well. I am at war with literally everyone and I didn't choose a single one of my enemies. But at least on the bright side, I now have maintenance companies. I'm gonna roll them out to everyone. Even having contracted my lines this much, I'm still under a ton of pressure. I've taken relatively low casualties, like an extra 100 100k, which I'm a little surprised about. They have been hammering me, but I'm just not killing the enemy quickly enough and in numbers that matter. I'm against the French, the Soviets, the Czechs, the Italians, the Romanians, the Dutch, and the Americans. Oh, the British Empire trying to be useful again. See how long that lasts. Oh, sweet Bulgaria. Welcome aboard. Yeah, that's gonna be helpful. Oh, Poland. Well, there goes hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to go desperate defense. I don't have the manpower to keep going. Sucks, I don't like it, but I, I need the manpower. Well, that's funny. I pierced the UK decided to try my gambit of invading the Netherlands. Okay, then. I'll see if I can get a supporting attack going from the west. Maybe try and link up there or funnel some troops over. I don't have a lot of troops, but ah, I gotta do something. Well, my genius maneuver to try and link up with the UK failed, mostly because the UK's naval invasion failed, like they all have, except for this. Well, this one's about to fail, but I did manage to encircle some Soviet troops. Small victories, I guess. It's satisfying to see those helmets go flying, so they're gone. Let's see if I can take Magdeburg, because there's a lot of supply there, and then sit back and see what happens. I, I, I think I have the divisions now to hold this slightly extended line, so if I can take Hanover, maybe we can do this. There are things in Hearts of Iron that are always going to happen, and one of those is Italy will always be a detriment to the faction it's in. So what has Italy done? They created their own little faction, invited Switzerland, which is annoying. I was kind of hoping to use them as a neutral border, but it does mean Italy is out on its own in its shitty little faction, and all of its armies are on my border. A border that is now rock solid. I have dedicated everything I can to keeping that border rock solid. What I'm going to try is use Gibraltar to launch a naval invasion of the Italian island of Sardinia, secure Corsica and Sardinia, keep my fleet in the area, and get ready to naval invade Italy. But for that, I will need to expand my shock troops. With that in mind, I also took my shock troops and made as many of them into thick mountaineers as possible, specifically to deal with Italy quickly. I don't expect this to turn the tide of the war completely, but it does give me an opportunity. The Ring of Iron is currently so solid that it's very unlikely that I'll get pushed more than maybe maybe one tie like this one. That's relatively weak, but everything else should be able to hold. Ooh, yeah, it looks like the Soviets are also suffering from some overextension and just general lack of supplies because I am pushing a little bit here. I mean, it's not gonna make a world of difference, but, you know, every inch of Germany I reclaim is an inch of Germany I need. So we have Hanover again. That gives me more factories. Yay. Okay. I'm gonna try and take out the Netherlands just to capitulate them and I'll either pull out or set up a, a good defensive ring around whatever I can hold on to. We'll make for a nice point to do a little pincer between my own lines and the Netherlands to cut off this section of the front if we can ever make it happen. I think we're ready to go. I do think I'll be able to take out the Netherlands. I'm gonna ship more of these troops over. Just gotta go as far as I can before any real opposition can materialize. The only thing I'm a little scared of is like Soviet opposition and that's it. Nobody else really matters. They're all super weak, super spent when it comes to military capabilities. The French have a little bit of juice left in them, but honestly not enough enough to matter. Yeah, the Netherlands will capitulate. There we go. So, that works. <laughs> <laughs> now the link up with the main front. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but we're gonna try. I am better than the AI, and I am going to prove it. Link up to my main front, and we can make magic happen. I, I feel that we can do it. Oh, I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it. If I can link up, I can make something happen. The rest of the front isn't moving, so... <laughs> if you're gonna make anything happen at all, it's gonna be here. I think that's the point where it breaks. This is the point where it breaks. 
All right, that's where I'm gonna link everything up. All right, there we go. Now, shift the front line. This is going to make things difficult, potentially. You guys, all to the main front line. Everybody halt your offensives. Switch these guys to there. All right, so now we have to make sure that we kill whatever's left in Wilhelmshaven. We stop all other offensives and simply focus on holding. We simply focus on holding what we can have or what we're currently holding on to. Now they just kill the pocket near Wilhelmshaven. That's going to be important. And that is Wilhelmshaven secured. We did it. Small gambit, but it paid off. Who can I invite to my faction? Iran. Well, you're going to die, but welcome to the club. Also making a little use of the fact that Belgium and Luxembourg are neutral. I can put my back to them. I'm going to push to the most defensible terrain. So this river line here, that will give me control of the Rhineland back as well. So Germany stands. Germany lives. While I live and breathe, not a single other inch of Germany will be handed over to the communists. There are still some threats, a lot of threats left, but we are in such a good, well, good, <laughs> so much better better of a position than we were 20 minutes ago. I'm feeling it. Yeah, I'm not going to take anything else. I'm just going to walk along the Maginot line. It will make a very nice defensive position. I would need to contend with the Swiss who will be annoying, but if it's just the Swiss, I really don't care. No, they managed to get troops onto the actual Maginot line. So I think this is as far as I dare stretch. I'm not going to dislodge these units. Even with my shock troops, it's not going to work out. So I'm going to pull the shock troops out to alleviate supply somewhere up there. And I'm going to force deploy a couple more infantry divisions in the area to reinforce that line. And with the reclamation of the Rhineland, I once again have steel, so I don't need to trade as much. I can actually start making things again. And Belgium has some rubber for me. Thank you, Belgium. Okay, so we're, we're producing again. I'm going to keep building synthetics. Uh, I will definitely need synthetic refineries. <laughs> I can get by the Greeks. So, of course, they've declared war in Albania, as they always will. Albania, who is guaranteed by the Italians. And... And now they want into my faction. Sure. Welcome aboard. You're gonna die. Now for the naval invasion of Sicily. Can we do this? Can we strike the first blow against Italy? I think we can. Oh, there goes my Iran. I'm kind of expecting the Italians to have stacked a lot of troops in this area, mostly because they don't have any active wars. Well, they do. They have active wars, but they don't immediately border me, which does make the AI tend to keep its troops at home. So hopefully they don't have every everybody at home because if they do that's annoying but then again, even if they do, I can pro- Oh yeah, we can probably do this. We can definitely do this. Let's get going, boys. Let's get going. We will take Sicily and we will start the slow collapse of Italy. If we can get their civil war to fire, that would be amazing. But I don't know if that mechanic works with them being democratic already. So we'll have to um, figure that out as we go. But at least we have a goal. We're going to shoot for the moon. Unfortunately, my mountaineers should be able to make short work of whatever Italy has at home. Uh, my units are way, way better. This river crossing is going to be annoying, but oh, it's not a river crossing. It's a straight, but they don't have that much here except for a stupid tank. Maybe I can dislodge them. Maybe not. But even if I can't, it does mean I am perfectly set up here. Let's just hold Sicily. Let's not do anything rash. I can hold Sicily with like two divisions here. The Navy is still perfectly in control of the area and we set up for the next naval invasion. I'm going to probably take Sardinia from them next if I can manage and then go on a little bit of a cutting motion through Rome. So land in central Italy, cut and then crush everything to the south. We're trying to trigger the civil war, but I don't think it works if Mussolini's not in charge. I don't think it works. Still, every inch of Italy that we control, you know, we're one step closer to putting them out of my misery. Yeah, it looks like the islands are mine, but I don't think it actually matters. I just realized that the balance of power probably isn't there. We're gonna hit Italy. Hopefully I can land. There's a lot of troops here, so it might be tricky. Yeah. I think we'll be able to land and the Italians won't know what hit them. Just got to make sure we can actually cut this country in half. That is very important, actually. All right, so they are responding. They are sending troops and quite a bit of troops around. So <laughs> I may have allowed Italy to grow too fat. Italy cut in half, more or less. Our divisions are so much better than theirs. The invasion of Italy has gone spectacularly well. I got a little lucky with 
random number generation. The Italians moved their capital to Taranto after I took Rome and Napoli. That means everything else is not connected to the trade network and I can raid the shit out of the area using my fleet. So as a result, they're starving. While I was laser focused on Italy where I am definitely making gains because all these troops are starving. It's funny as shit because I have my navy out convoy raiding the shit out of the last trade port they have here in Puglia, port of Taranto, where their capital is. So the rest of Italy is not supplied. Their troops are starving. I am pushing them like they're not even there. It appears also that the French have decided to not have an army anymore, or they're all on my border. I can see why. And it does look like for the first time this entire higher damn campaign the British have come through. You know what I just finished an army of 24 that I was gonna use as fodder. Let's give them to Blaskovitz. Can I convert you into elite units? Do I have the equipment? I have the equipment to convert you into elite units. Wow I must have been stealing a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna convert you into elites and I'm gonna ship you over. See if we can make a difference. Meanwhile Italy is dying at a very rapid pace. A knife through butter. They just don't have supply. Oh, the Italians have capped. Oh, and the war score is all mine. I did all of that. I'm sorry. I'm giddy. I'm just really happy we pulled this off. I'm going to take their fleet and I'm going to puppet the Swiss. They're going to get overrun and I'm going to puppet the Italians who are also going to get overrun, but I don't care. They will serve as a nice juicy distraction. Swiss are almost dead. That is not fortunate, but it is what it is. Now we counterattack and hopefully push the French back along with their Soviet allies. This is going to hold. This is absolutely going to hold. Pull more troops away from here. Two units per tile should be enough. That leaves me with 18 divisions to push the French line. All right. Mosley, thank you for doing something right for once. You see, it's not that hard. It pays off. And the French are gone. Oh, they must have been bled dry. They almost had nothing left. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Now. Now we attack. Now is our hour. This brings a tear to my eye. This is beautiful. Soviets are fighting tooth and nail over every inch around here, but we will crack them. We are going to end this once and for all. Look at this. Look at the front lines. Oh, gorgeous. And I think Yugoslavia is going to capitulate. Now there goes Yugoslavia. My gut says I need to make a run for Czechoslovakia before they guard themselves. That would be a large section of the world or of the front freed up. I'll leave Mosley and uh, Metaxas here to deal with the lower portions of the Balkan. I have other plans. Soviets are bleeding. They're hurting. They're being pushed, 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 pushed. Yes. God, that feels good. Freeing up so much of Germany. And there goes Czechoslovakia. Ah, they completely fell over and died. Now to make this front line a little less horrible, redeploy those units. And the offensive trundles on. We head to Moscow now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've even pushed up to Riga. I feel like we're gonna win this one. If I can get the shock troops to push down south here, we may actually stabilize the front. I'll cut off Romania from any Soviet support. I'll just extend my line to cover it. I have enough troops for a very big chunky front line. And then we crush Romania, slowly squeeze the life out of them. Beautiful. This is what it's all about. There goes Romania. And just like that, we have restored order to the world, or at least to most of Europe. Push the Soviets back, destroy the communists and establish proper control for the Holy Roman Empire. Let's just kill the Soviets now. I'm not going to form the actual Holy Roman Empire because I would have to integrate all of my puppets. And that is the last Soviet divisions in the Balkan destroyed. And now the counterattack begins. Really not going to be that difficult. I did manage to scramble together uh, an army of motorized. So I took one army of shock troops, converted them to motorized. Again, sorry to the channel members. I usually assign names to everyone, but this has been incredibly hectic and I didn't want to stop 
to name each individual unit. These 24 chads though, these 24 glorious bastards pretty much won the campaign for us in Italy. So you will get your medals when we're done here. You will get your medals. Oh my god, a British have done it again. They've taken Leningrad. Wow, Mosley keeps throwing shit at the wall, but sometimes something sticks. I'm also building like a ton of stuff in Italy and the Swiss. Hopefully I can integrate them. Then I just need to conquer Belgium and Luxembourg and Austria. And then I can still click the button to form my glorious nation. I think we've reached the point in the campaign where I'm just bullying the Soviet Union. But in terms of games so far, this has been the biggest reversal I've ever had. And while we are crushing what remains of the Soviet Union, I am justifying a war goal on Austria. I need their territories and then we'll do the same for Belgium and Luxembourg. Unfortunately, we don't get quick justifications. I don't have any focuses that give me more war goals. It's fine. And the first people we can integrate is, well, Italy. Okay then, that's done. They must have lost so much equipment, that's barely anything I got. Okay, with the death of the Soviet Union, the world is now a different place. I just have to make sure I take the states I need to form the Holy Roman Empire, because I, I, I did not go through all that suffering not to form the Holy Roman Empire now. And with that horrific peace deal, we have redrawn the map of Europe. The Holy Roman Empire is now in charge and no longer the allies or the Comintern. Well, there's still allies around. They're just not as impressive as they were before. Comintern has been crushed utterly. We now have German France. We have Japanese Romania and German Romania. We have Ukraine. We have Ostland, German Latvia, German Estonia. Finland got a share of the spoils back and German Russia has gotten somewhat reduced in size. All that's left to do now is sit back, relax and integrate a few more countries until we can click that fabulous decision. Next step, we make Austria disappear. Don't worry about it. I don't need our allies. We're just going to overrun them quick and dirty. That's Austria in hand. Justifying on Belgium. We're justifying on Luxembourg. Once those two giants fall, it'll be all ogre. We crush them. We destroy them. We annihilate them. There will be nothing left whole. And then we will have our empire. Both were crushed easily and entirely. Oh, I forgot to take Savoy. I forgot to take Savoy off the fucking French, and now I can't click the Revive the Holy Roman Empire button. Well, fortunately, all I had to do was bank all my political power and just send all of my equipment to France. They will well, oh, integrate them relatively quickly, and now I can press the button. Revive the Holy Roman Empire. All that headache for a very nice flag, a very nice empire, and oh my god, we're occupying a lot of stuff. We can release some stuff. I'll hold on to my cores and give everything else back. The rebirth of the Holy Roman Empire. And with that, we will end this video because I just don't want to fight the USA. I really don't. I can convoy rate the hell out of them. My fleet can probably take theirs. And I am island hopping in the Pacific because I got bored. I could probably take them, but it's 1946. We've been playing for a very long time. I think this is a nice stopping point. The Holy Roman Empire against the Allies. And this is really only going to go one way. We land troops and crush the Allies and that's going to be it. They are not going to hold up against us and the Japanese, who still haven't finished off China, funnily enough. Anyway, I had a lot of fun, a lot of suffering, but also a lot of fun playing this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned from it, and I hope you guys will enjoy this next video too. See ya.